In mathematics, the power set or power set of any set S is the set of all subsets of S, including the empty set and S itself, variously denoted as phosphorus monosulfide, phosphorus monosulfide S, using the Weierstrass P phosphorus monosulfide S, or identifying the power set of S with the set of all functions from S to a given set of two elements, 2S. In axiomatic set theory as developed, for example, in the ZFC axioms, the existence of the power set of any set is postulated by the axiom of power set. Any subset of phosphorus monosulfide is called a family of sets over S. Example <laughs> <laughs> If S is the set X, Y, Z, then the subsets of S are also denoted display style vinylding or display style empty set. The empty set or the null set X, Y, Z, X, Y, X, Z, Y, Z. X, Y, Z, and hence the power set of S is X, Y, Z, X, Y, X, Z, Y, Z, X, Y, Z. Topic Properties. If S is a finite set with S topic n elements then the number of subsets of S is phosphorus monosulfide to n this fact, which is the motivation for the notation 2S, may be demonstrated simply as follows. First, order the elements of S in any manner we write any subset of S in the format gamma 1, gamma 2, gamma n, where gamma i, 1 i n, can take the value of 0 or 1. If gamma i equals 1, the ith element of S is in the subset, otherwise, the ith element is not in the subset. Clearly the number of distinct subsets that can be constructed this way is 2n as gamma i element of 0, 1. Cantor's diagonal argument shows that the power set of a set whether infinite or not always has strictly higher cardinality than the set itself informally the power set must be larger than the original set. In particular, Cantor's theorem shows that the power set of a countably infinite set is uncountably infinite. The power set of the set of natural numbers can be put in a one-to-one -one correspondence with the set of real numbers see cardinality of the, continuum. the power set of a set S, together with the operations of union, intersection and complement can be viewed as the prototypical example of a Boolean algebra. In fact, one can show that any finite Boolean algebra is isomorphic to the Boolean algebra of the power set of a finite set. For infinite Boolean algebras this is no longer true, but every infinite Boolean algebra can be represented as a subalgebra of a power set Boolean algebra see Stone's representation theorem. The power set of a set S forms an abelian group when considered with the operation of symmetric difference with the empty set as the identity element and each set being its own inverse and a commutative monoid when considered with the operation of intersection. It can hence be shown by proving the distributive laws that the power set considered together with both of these operations forms a Boolean ring. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Representing subsets as functions. In set theory, xy is the set of all functions from y to x as 2 can be defined as 0, 1 see natural number, 2s i.e., 0, 1 s is the set of all functions from s to 0, 1. 
By identifying a function in 2s with the corresponding preimage of 1, we see that there is a bijection between 2s and phosphorus monosulfide, where each function is the characteristic function of the subset in phosphorus monosulfide with which it is identified. Hence 2s and phosphorus monosulfide could be considered identical set theoretically. Thus there are two distinct notational motivations for denoting the power set by 2s, the fact that this function representation of subsets makes it a special case of the xy notation and the property, mentioned above, that, 2s, equals 2, s. This notion can be applied to the example above in which s equals x, y, z to see the isomorphism with the binary numbers from 0 to 2n minus 1 with n being the number of elements in the set in s a 1 in the position corresponding to the location in the enumerated set x 0 y 1 z 2 indicates the presence of the element so x y equals 0 1 1 2 for the whole power set of s we get such bijective mapping of S to integers is arbitrary, so this representation of subsets of S is not unique, but the sort order of the enumerated set does not change its cardinality. However, such finite binary representation is only possible if S can be enumerated this is possible even if S has an infinite cardinality, such as the set of integers or rationals, but not for example if S is the set of real numbers, in which we cannot enumerate all irrational numbers to assign them a defined finite location in an ordered set containing all irrational numbers. Topic. Relation to binomial theorem The power set is closely related to the binomial theorem. The number of subsets with k elements in the power set of a set with n elements is given by the number of combinations, c n, k, also called binomial coefficients. For example, the power set of a set with three elements, has C three zero equals one subset with zero elements. The empty subset C three one equals three subsets with one element. The singleton subsets C three two equals three subsets with two elements. The complements of the singleton subsets C three three equals one subset with three elements. The original set itself. Using this relationship we can compute 2 s text style left 2 caret s right using the formula therefore one can deduce the following identity assuming s equals n text style s equals n topic algorithms if s is a finite set there is a recursive algorithm to calculate phosphorus monosulfide define the operation f e t equals x e x element of t in english return the set with the element e added to each set x in t if s Topic. Then phosphorus monosulfide is returned. Otherwise, let E be any single element of S. Let T equals S e, where S e denotes the relative complement of E in S. And the result, phosphorus monosulfide equals p t f e p t is returned in other words the power set of the empty set is the set containing the empty set and the power set of any other set is all the subsets of the set containing some specific element and all the subsets of the set not containing that specific element equals <laughs> topic subsets of limited cardinality 
equals the set of subsets of S of cardinality less than or equal to kappa is sometimes denoted by P kappa S or S kappa, and the set of subsets with cardinality strictly less than kappa is sometimes denoted P. Equals. Topic: Power object. Equals. A set can be regarded as an algebra having no non-trivial operations or defining equations. From this perspective the idea of the power set of X as the set of subsets of X generalizes naturally to the subalgebras of an algebraic structure or algebra. Now the power set of a set, when ordered by inclusion, is always a complete atomic Boolean algebra, and every complete atomic Boolean algebra arises as the lattice of all subsets of some set. The generalization to arbitrary algebras is that the set of subalgebras of an algebra, again ordered by inclusion, is always an algebraic lattice, and every algebraic lattice arises as the lattice of subalgebras of some algebra. So in that regard subalgebras behave analogously to subsets. However, there are two important properties of subsets that do not carry over to subalgebras in general. First, although the subsets of a set form a set as well as a lattice, in some classes it may not be possible to organize the subalgebras of an algebra as itself an algebra in that class, although they can always be organized as a lattice. Secondly, whereas the subsets of a set are in bijection with the functions from that set to the set 0, 1 equals 2, there is no guarantee that a class of algebras contains an algebra that can play the role of 2 in this way. Certain classes of algebras enjoy both of these properties. The first property is more common, the case of having both is relatively rare. One class that does have both is that of multigraphs. Given two multigraphs G and H, a homomorphism H, G H consists of two functions, one mapping vertices to vertices and the other mapping edges to edges. The set H G of homomorphisms from G to H can then be organized as the graph whose vertices and edges are respectively the vertex and edge functions appearing in that set. Furthermore, the subgraphs of a multigraph G are in bijection with the graph homomorphisms from G to the multigraph omega definable as the complete directed graph on two vertices hence four edges, namely two self-loops and two more edges forming a cycle augmented with a fifth edge, namely a second self-loop at one of the vertices. We can therefore organize the subgraphs of G as the multigraph omega G, called the power object of G. What is special about a multigraph as an algebra is that its operations are unary. A multigraph has two sorts of elements forming a set V of vertices and E of edges, and has two unary operations S, T, E V giving the source start and target end vertices of each edge. An algebra all of whose operations are unary is called a presheaf. Every class of presheaves contains a presheaf omega that plays the role for subalgebras that too plays for subsets. Such a class is a special case of the more general notion of elementary topos as a category that is closed and moreover Cartesian closed and has an object omega, called a subobject classifier. Although the term, power object, is sometimes used synonymously with exponential object y x in topos theory y is required to be omega. Topic: <laughs> Functors and quantifiers. In category theory and the theory of elementary topoi, the universal quantifier can be understood as the right adjoint of a functor between power sets, the inverse image functor of a function between sets, likewise, the existential quantifier is the left adjoint. See also Set theory Axiomatic set theory Family of sets Field of sets Notes <laughs> 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 <laughs>